Hey, what's up guys? So just this past week, I finished up my clinical rotation at an acute care setting, so at a hospital. And so that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about today, what I liked about it, what I didn't like about it, how my day-to-day -day went, and other random stuff that you guys might be curious about. But if this is your first time on my channel, my name is Jin, I'm a second year DPT student. Be sure to check out my channel if you are interested in physical therapy and DPT school related contents. So my days were Monday through Friday, 8 to 4.30. The commute wasn't too bad, 15, 20 minute drive without traffic. But one thing that I was super um, surprised about with the hospital that I was at was that we didn't have a schedule for the patients that we needed to see for the day. We would just have the list. And first thing in the morning, we would give the list to the PT techs and the, the techs would go upstairs to check on these patients to see if anything happened overnight or if they're gonna be away for dialysis or radiation or any other treatment um, at certain times of the day or if they're gone because some of these patients were discharged overnight and so they would come back with the list and it was my responsibility and my CS responsibility as PTs to figure out okay um, I'm gonna go see this patient first or that patient first. So that was good. I like the fact that we could make our own schedule. So my day started around eight and from eight to 10, 10.30, I would be reading a lot of notes and documentations from other members of the hospital, like the physicians, nurses, case managers. And if it was an eval session, if this is my first time seeing the patient, then there was a lot more to read because you have to go through their medical records and check their past medical history and everything because you want to have a thorough understanding of where the patient is coming from. Around 10 or 10.30 when me and my CI would be done with our notes, we would talk about the patients and treatment sessions that I planned on doing or if it's an evil session, some of the questions I planned on asking and then we would go upstairs because our office was on the third floor and the hospital went up to ninth floor, I think. And so from then on, it was just going to see the patients in their rooms. So before we saw our patients, most of the times me and my CI would ask the nurses to see if this is a good time for us to see the patients because of multiple reasons, like their payments might not have kicked in yet or they're doing another treatment or maybe this is just not a good time for us to see them. And so, or sometimes the patients would just straight up reject us, say, I'm not feeling it. And so what can you do? You can't really force somebody to work with you if they don't want to. And so um, a lot of curveballs thrown at me, for sure, a lot of variables up in the air. But it is an acute care setting. A lot of these patients come um, through the ER so there a lot of them were direct admits I was surprised to see that none of the patients that I saw were post-op patients like you know total hip or total knee so anyways you see these patients what you do with them obviously depends on where they are in the rehab process and why they're in the hospital in the first place but the approach that me and my CI took was very aggressive meaning that we were able to see these patients progress and make improvements towards their short-term and long-term goal every day. Did a lot of bed mobility and transfers with these patients. Um, some of them I worked with learning how to use assistive devices like a walker, cane, um, and a lot of exercises in bed as well. So working on active range of motion, passive range of motion at different joints of the body. I think it's very easy to say that you do the same exercises for all the patients you see at a hospital. And that's true to some extent because these patients don't have that many options to begin with. I mean, you have to relearn how to sit independently. You have to relearn how to stand independently by yourself before you can start walking. But one thing that I learned at the hospital and working in an acute care setting for the first time was everybody's end goal was very different. Um, where they wanted to be after their time working with me and getting discharged from the hospital, their goal in terms of that was very different. And I was trained by my CI to put a lot of thought and consideration into making the discharge recommendation. And so after putting everything into consideration where the patient is now, um, where the patient was before, where they're coming from, 
my goal for these treatment sessions with the patients was to say, okay, how can I set you up for success after you're discharged? And what can I do today with you to help make that happen? So that's what I liked about QCare. You put all the information together from different sources and you figure out your plan, your plan A. But the funny thing is plan A rarely works out because like I said, a lot of variables up in the air, a lot of things changing very fast paced. And so, you know, you have to have plan B and plan C. Sometimes I would go in the room thinking, okay, this, so this is what I'm going to do with this patient. If it's an eval session, this is what I'm going to ask. And then the patient's not even there in the room. And so a lot of thinking on your feet and definitely a lot of uh, making adjustments as you go. When we're done seeing the patients for the day around 1.30 or 2, we would come down to our office back on the third floor and we would have a lunch hour, um, which was nice. And then we would start um, documentation if you know me in person or if you've seen my other videos, you know I hate documentation. I think it's very boring, a lot of redundant work, but um, the software that they used at the hospital wasn't too bad. A lot of drop down menus and my CI taught me how to write efficiently because she had to learn that for herself because there are so many patients and you can't be documenting all day. And so that was nice, I thought. So overall, I liked my clinical experience at the hospital. It's kind of hard to tell because it was a part-time clinical experience and I was only there for a week. But I really liked my CI and she allowed me to do whatever I planned on doing with the patient and then gave me feedback or constructive criticism afterwards. And I really appreciated that. I wish I got to structure the whole rehab process in a more functional way for these patients that are more personalized, but I understand that's not as easy um, in a setting like this, in a acute care inpatient at a hospital versus an outpatient or a sports setting. So well, I'm curious to know if anybody wanna share their experience um, doing clinical rotations or even working at a hospital because I know a lot of you guys do out there um, please leave it in the comments down below and I would love to check them out, um, start discussions. And yeah, thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.